Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel VBA video, we are going to continue our discussion on the user form controls that uh, we have been seeing from the past few videos. In today's video, uh, we would be uh, looking for a control known as the frames. So first of all, let us understand that what is a frame. A simple definition of a frame is a control that is used to collect different objects or different controls in it. Uh, in one form, there can be multiple frames and a frame basically has a number of controls in it. So frame is a collection of all these controls. The advantage of frame is that once we want to apply one kind of an operation or one property to a number of controls, then instead of those individual controls, we can apply it to that particular frame and all these properties would be applied to all the controls that are a part of that frame automatically. So it would help us to reduce our coding and give the results in an instant. Apart from this, frames are also uh, used whenever we are trying to uh, use the radio buttons. So how are they used? Let's see that with the help of an example. First of all, you need to uh, open up your VBA editor. So you can use the shortcut Alt F11 or can go to the developer tab and use this Visual Basic over here. Then you will get your VBA editor open. So this was our form two, which we created yesterday in which we added two radio buttons, one for true and one for false. And whatever the result was, we used to display it. So first of all, let us take an example of a frame through radio buttons only. So for this, let us create a new form to create a new form. Go to the insert tab and insert a new user form from here. Let's just name it as FRM3. The reason why we are doing this because FRM is a general convention for user form and it would help you to minimize the name of the form so that you can easily use it wherever you want because the name is the thing that is going to refer to this particular form. Now let us just change its caption to uh, something like frames. So as you can see, the caption is changed to frames. And now what we are going to do is we are going to add two questions. First of all, is going to be about the say gender, uh, which is either male or female. And the second question is going to be a true false question. So these are the two questions that I'm going to add in this form. And uh, both of these questions are going to have the radio button options as an answer. Uh, because the answer could be either true or false or the gender could be either male or female so that's a simple convention and we are going to add these four radio buttons okay so first of all let's us add two labels this one label and this second label so these labels are basically going to hold up our questions here that uh, please select your gender and a simple mathematical question like in the previous one uh, in which we are going to get the answer as true or false. Now let us just add the four radio buttons. These two radio buttons are going to be for our gender question and these two radio buttons are going to be for the true false question. And then we will have a command button for submit and whatever the answer the user chooses would be displayed in this labels these two labels okay so this is what we are going to do let us just align it a little bit like this okay so let's just um, change it first of all let's just change the names of all these controls or if you want you can just keep them as uh, this only so let's just change the caption of label one to gender and uh, option button one to male option button two to female or uh, label to a simple mathematical question is 10 less than 7 so the answer is uh, obviously false so let's just change option button three is option as true and uh, this should be false And on command button one, we want uh, submit. And let's just clear up this label three and label four. Now let's just add an event, click event. Now we want that uh, when this click, 
if option button one dot value is true then we want a label three to display as mail uh, I think mail was there else I wanted to display else label 3 would display as female so this is the same code I'm going to copy and paste for option button 3 and 4 uh, like this so if option button 3 dot value equals to true then display as uh, wrong in label 4 otherwise display as right in label 4 so that's what I want okay now let's just uh, write it like in an if condition that uh, if option button 2 dot value because we want only for uh, option button 2's value true then this we want okay and then let's just end the if block and uh, let's just copy it for option button 4 as well over here and let's just end the if okay let's just write else part else label 4 equals blank otherwise if no option is selected we want label 4 and label 3 to get blank we don't want anything in them label 3 equals blank so that's what we are going to do so let's just run this form so we have got gender male and female so i selected male and in this value i have selected false so what happens you can see that uh, since we are having two questions we would have wanted that uh, i would be able to select one from these two radio buttons and one option from these two radio buttons but all four of them are mutually exclusive which means i can select only one radio button out of these four so this is a common problem that occurs while working with the radio buttons and a solution for this problem is adding frames so this is the frame control you can see this is the frame control let's just drag one over here and what this frame control will do is it would hold these two radio buttons and when it would do that uh, then these two radio buttons become a part of that particular frame so uh, these are actually kind of grouped in one frame and when these two are grouped in one frame then we are able to select one from this group and one from this group okay so let's just drag in two frames that is the main advantage of the frames while using the radio buttons okay so we want this actually oh uh, let's just drag it out and drag this true and false option buttons into this frame too so now what would happen is we would be able to just uh, change the options okay uh, we would be able to select two options one from this and one from this so let's just run it now we can select the gender as male or female and the answer as true or false you can see these two separate options are able to be selected now we click on submit we get female and right as the options so that's the advantage of the frames and let's talk about the frames a little bit more so the name is frame one its shortcut is frm f r m e actually f r a m or you can just uh, because f r m is a shortcut for form so you can just simply keep it as frame or f r a m or whatever you want then uh, for the caption uh, you can just put any caption like options and for the frame two also let's just keep another caption as options now the caption is the same thing that is uh, visible over here the next thing is um, if we just there is a property known as visible in the frames if we just set it to false then what would happen is when this form is loaded this frames would not be visible okay so i want the user to first select on this option either true or false and after the user selects i want this frame to be visible so when i select that both of these option buttons or these radio buttons would not be visible as well so let's just code it for this option buttons click event what i want on this option buttons click event is frame one dot visible property 
I want to set it to true. So the user may select on option three or the user may click on option button four. So the same thing must be copied and pasted into here as well. That is option button four. So what would happen is if we run the form, only these two options are visible. So I want the user to first select the answer for this question. And if the user selects the answer for this question, then only this um, gender thing is visible. So if I uh, select on false, then this frame uh, becomes visible. And we just only selected the visibility property for the frame. But these two option buttons are now visible as well and they were not visible when we said the visibility property of the frame as false so this is what is another advantage of the frame uh, that is it helps us to uh, apply a property collectively on uh, both of them uh, on uh, like both of the um, or all of the controls that are in that frame so that is all for today's video and uh, thanks for watching